Hiya, and welcome to Cult of the Lamb. Today, we're going to be talking about tablets, what are the best to get, specifically early on, and these can have massive implications for what you're going to build later down the line, and some tablets have a short-term benefit, and then others have an incredible, amazing long-term benefit. Also, side thing, I don't have all the gameplay for all of the tablets, because I literally have to grind them, and they're all on cooldowns, and this is one of the biggest problems with tablets, is that they're on a huge cooldown all the time, so it's important that you spend what you can early to get the best of the bang, all that. Alright, so we're going to be starting an order of importance, the, the ones that you need to aim for as soon as you possibly can, and then we'll brute force it at the end and go through just about all of them have, that have potential value and all that. So the first thing that I think people should be going down is the Workman Tree, the Work and Worship. Um, essentially, at Tier 2, you get a choice between Inspire or Intimidate. Uh, and I would highly, highly advise you guys go with Intimidate. The reason why is because you can actually command your followers and intimidate them. There's no morality in this game. Stop it. Don't do that to yourself. You can revive everybody. It's it's all a game. <laughs> it's not like Fable, alright? You're not going to feel bad when you make a bad choice because it's all meaningless. You can bring them back to life. We're a demon. All that. <laughs> okay? In Tier 2 of Workmen and Worship, you're going to get Intimidation, and that's going to basically get your workers to work 10% harder for two days. And you are going to be getting a little bit of loyalty. Now, this is going to, uh, to replace your bless action uh, with this, uh, where basically you talk to your person, they start working better, and you get a little bit of loyalty. Loyalty is amazing and very, very good. It's how you can kind of get your obelisks or your tablets, sorry. Your other option is Inspire, uh, which Inspire gives you an absolute boatload of loyalty, which is good, but kind of not great, because if, if you're anything like me, I chose this one uh, because of that stupid twist in morale I think I talked about really quick there uh, but I am sitting on seven obelisks or tablets I'm sitting on seven of them that I cannot spend because there is a cooldown uh, now this is good if you want to have less of an issue with your followers faith I have not had any issue with the faith stat in my cult so I think that may be the crossroads but even still you're getting a slight bit of loyalty and a ton of benefit for the hard-working stat on your allies super worth it I would highly advise the intimidate it also doesn't make your followers hate you more I don't believe so yeah also the reason why this one I think is single-handedly the most important is because it's something that you can do every single day with your followers and it will make a huge impact in your play style okay so the second one is in the possession skill tree where you can basically take money from your followers every single day about two or three coins but that's actually pretty good especially when you can do this for all of your followers it's kind of a pain in the ass because you can't actually see what follower you've done this to and some followers somewhat are weird and they don't let you have it but most of them do and you have a ton of money coming in now pretty awesome pretty fantastic the other option is to basically uh, bribe your person with with money to gain loyalty which is kind of a, a balancing act I think a lot of the things in this game are, are built off of these two inspire and intimidate are you going to be the person that's going to be able to get loyalty through inspiration but say you pick some upgrades down the line that basically give you a ton of coin uh, and now you can actually use that coin to pay off your followers and make up for that deficit of loyalty because you're having so much workforce gain if that makes any sense regardless this is something that you should absolutely get it's one of the first ones you can get and honestly might be a contender for the one you should get first uh, rather than the one I showed you but I just think the inspire or intimidate are just too good of options and lastly the one that I think it has so much value in it baked in is sustenance one of the things that's gonna kick your ass early on is just providing food for your cults especially when you go want to go out and do do crusading you're not gonna have any of that automation built up so you're gonna constantly come back to your cult they're gonna be mad at you they're gonna be hungry <laughs> it's gonna be a whole thing so this can help make that a lot less bad so the first thing that's amazing is something called grass eater right here so grass eater is fantastic essentially it makes it so that you can feed grass to your followers without them just absolutely annihilating themselves I think they may still puke but that doesn't have any negative effect regardless you can basically feed this to them as long as you're hitting grass when you're doing crusades you're gonna have an excess of grass um, this is always gonna be something that you're gonna be able to dump a bunch in along with the other foods hopefully that you're feeding them just to balance it out which is very very good to have the second tier of sustenance is super super good ritual of harvest this is incredible if you go plant a bunch of food and you do this ritual all of that food is gonna be ready to harvest right at the hop this is great if you've ever kind of done two crusades at once and then realize uh oh I don't have any food for my cult and you need to kind of pull this trick out of your hat this is great to have and lastly the one all the way at the bottom uh, of law and order which is why I'm telling it to you last uh, is this one tier 4 of law and order probably has one of the capstones it's the best a uh, perform a ritual at your temple in which you appoint a follower to basically be a loyalty enforcer or to be a money enforcer a tax enforcer um, it depends on 
what you want. Uh, I think tax money seems to be incredibly useful in building just about every piece of, your, of the pie. Loyalty seems like it's something that can gain you followers. Uh, a proficiency, sure, but also you can just do that if you have the inspiration one. So this is kind of what I mean by like those two choices kind of dictate whatever you want to do moving forward. If you have the hardworking stat, your cult probably going to work harder, make more money for you, um, and do things quicker. So that's pretty nice and probably the one I would suggest. But if you have the Inspire one, then you have a ton of loyalty. Uh, so then you can go and try to get money from in other avenues. But if you needed some more loyalty coming in because you have so much money, then you could just go with a loyalty enforcer rather than a tax enforcer. But this one is also very, very deep down the skill tree. So yeah, <laughs> just be careful with that one. And then the last one is the tier two afterlife uh, thing, which basically is going to get you the ability to resurrect your followers. The reason why this is so good is because you want to resurrect the followers with amazing traits. Uh, and that's that way they can basically provide you a service constantly uh, again everything in this game has cooldowns so it's better to use things than not uh, and you can always get a met metric fuck ton of bones just by you know doing the crusading getting points that kind of thing so now let's go through everything uh lickety split i will not be talking about the other one too much uh, we're just kind of going to be a man on a mission here we're going to be starting on afterlife going down all the way to the, to the bottom let's do that okay so we basically have two options one to let our followers gain faith when we have a sacrifice or when a follower dies people get sad and they lose a bunch of faith 20 this will drop it to five the thing with this that's tricky is that this is on cooldown your ability to sacrifice a follower is on a big big cooldown and you're eventually going to have some old people in your thing and they're eventually going to croak back to back and then you're just going to get a huge loss and your faith's going to plummet everyone's going to start rebelling i actually prefer the the lessening of that <laughs> of when inevitable death comes it'll be less bad <laughs> and even the faith loss from sacrifice is not that bad again get the ability to revive your your followers rather than have a funeral what faith is is attainable in other ways especially if you have other things anyways definitely get this the good die young this is not a game of morality the good die young basically you can kill old people and you get faith for it let's go but if they die naturally you get plummeted in terms of uh, a negative faith so make sure to kill them old people in the sacrifice thing and tier four you just get a choice between getting fertilizer or creating a structure that gives you fertilizer or basically unlocking the ability for followers to grieve which can gain faith uh, i would highly advise this one there's very few things that just generally buff up faith which is very very good it basically makes it makes it so that you can like leave and not, not let your followers just completely abandon you <laughs> which is really really good uh, but it's also at the end of the caps uh, the skill tree and again there's ways to get plenty of fertilizer so i think that's a bit of a, a waste in doing that but anyways work and worship this one is very very good just for the production of your cult get faithful traits um, because it's going to give you more devotion devotion is one of the things that you're always going to need uh, and it's incredibly hard to attain especially the end game you need so much of it so i would highly advise that one uh, again, we've already talked about the uh, inspiration or intimidate. Kind of pick whichever one you want. You can get faith for building construction. It's kind of a good, but in comparison, performing any ritual will temporarily increase devotion generation for three days by 20%. That is insane because you're always having followers giving you devotion. This is incredible. Also, again, devotion really hard to attain at endgame. You want to start that ball rolling fast early. <laughs> okay. Again, faith has not been that impossible to attain. So you can get you can gain 80 faith, but then nobody works works for a whole day no <laughs> no i don't don't mean that be a tyrant but no or you can have the absolute tyrant which basically makes it so that you can make your followers work for three days uh and nights without uh, getting tired absolutely crazy uh yeah and now we're on to possession again do you want to take a bribe a day for your followers or do you want to take or give them three coins which will increase their loyalty um i would go with take the bribe a day it just seems good and it's also quick to do just quickly snap some money and, and you're good here too you get the option between building better sleeping quarters builds you faith it's okay but all cult members will gain uh the false idol trait gaining more faith when placing decorations you're going to be placing a lot of directions and eventually you're going to cap out at building a sleeping quarter so this is just a silly choice pick the decorations because there's thousands of direct decorations place and most of them only take one node so if you're ever low on faith you can just quickly make a bunch of decorations and put them in sequence and you're going to have a lot out of that um, opposed to making the uh, basically permanent buildings that you should be making anyway for your followers. Tier 3, two rituals. Do you want to give your followers money and gain a little bit of faith and increase their loyalty? Eh, or do you want to basically get a ton of coins all at once? That one is good. It kind of depends. If you're, if you're finding it hard to keep your faith up, then probably go with the other one. It's kind of a balancing act of what you need to choose. Uh, but I think I would go with coins even still. Uh, you can just place things inevitably that will give you faith and 
and then you can just get money that way. There's not too many things that can get you money back, like coins, besides crusading. So I think it's why it's important to get coins consistently. Anyways, again, constructing buildings give you five more faith. Okay. Uh, or all cult members gain dev devotee trade, gain more faith, delivering sermons. You were always going to be delivering sermons you are kind of sometimes going to be building but then there's going to be some days where you just don't build anything uh, this is going to be a more consistent game okay all right law and order we're cooking <laughs> we're cutting down things you can murder your followers weirdly enough this makes sense especially if you have a lot of followers that are rebelling against you and also have horrible traits and they just refuse to die in exp expeditions <laughs> anyways i would just say go expeditions that's why i haven't picked this one but anyways ascend followers this gives you a little bit of loyalty bump and lets your followers ascend to heaven or whatever um so yes you can just go about it like that uh, i this one doesn't really matter i just went with the loyalty one because the murder one doesn't seem like it's needed yet i imagine there's maybe a specific instance where one of your followers has a murder problem and you need to kill him quick again just send him on an expedition and get him gone tier 2 allows you to basically get married for some more faith or to have a battle royale gladiator throwdown in which it's implying that you can basically uh not kill your followers which make it you a loyalty bump something cool go team this one feels like it doesn't really matter i went with the marriage one because it's cute anyways this one's really weirdly specific when you put someone in jail that is not doing anything naughty you're gonna be losing less faith because sometimes followers will have like speculation about that I, uh, okay I, i'd rather just have the one where i there's a lot of days where just nobody is rebelling especially if you have a really high faith stat uh, and as long as you're sending the bad apples on expeditions where they can die they can't die whatever uh it's uh it's pretty good and you'll be good to go so i would go with that one just more faith every day that there is no one in prison it's just nice and again as long as you have your faith high you should be good to go anyways tier four is the big pooba where you can either choose between a tax enforcer or a loyalty enforcer uh i would suggest the tax enforcer it depends on what you need though if you're if you're low on loyalty uh like you know your your people loving you then go with loyalty enforcer if you want tax money i would go tax money because right now i'm really needing money also you can buy certain items and stuff like that so so yeah it's just good and lastly sustenance something that you cannot overlook and there's so much value here early on uh you can perform a ritual at your temple to declare a fast which your followers will not eat for three days uh this is incredible i do think you take a little bit of a loss some things are explicit in like your followers will not love this like giving you money probably won't love this <laughs> so your loyalty or your like faith will go down a little bit but it's usually worth it because there's ways to build up your faith again or you can throw a feast and you'll basically gain 10 uh 25 faith as well as feed your followers it's i'd rather have the one where basically your followers can just work like crazy again as long as morality is high you can kind of pick what you what you need at the time if you're really low on faith uh, aggregation then you can go ahead and <laughs> and yeah i still don't think the, the rituals and stuff like that are worth it anyways grass eater is incredibly good uh, the alternative is all cult members gain cannibalistic trait which they can eat their followers unless your followers are dropping dead all the fucking time uh, and you're constantly having a pipeline of people like pulling in followers uh, and, like buying followers and all that stuff i don't think that would make make it sequenced properly to make it worth it so i think it'd just be better to give them grass when you're doing crusades hit some grass you'll be able to feed that to them and that'll get them by until you can make them something yummy yes tier three ritual of harvest absolutely amazing basically you just make all of your harvest uh, harvestable all of your seeds harvestable you pick them all up it's great although its counterpart is not bad either but it's basically for two days you'll be able to get a lot of fish and special fish it's kind of good but you can just fish every day it's not that bad and also fish are pretty good you do get double the yield but i've never been able to sustain my my cult purely on fish it's always been farming but anyways tier four the last tier you can basically brainwash your cult or make them work very very hard but there's a 50 50 chance that they might uh, become sick if you have sick bays at end game this becomes significantly less bad uh so yes i would suggest this one because you get a ton of work production but also you can just build it for end game to do that also this is something that's at the very end of this skill tree and probably one of the least needed uh, perks so you can get this end game when you eventually can make some sort of way of healing your people uh which is pretty easy especially when you have good farming and stuff like that where you can instantly get a lot of poppies that can heal your people all that stuff is right as rain but ladies and gentlemen that is about everything that i can tell you about what you need to buy uh, and you need to invest in when it comes to cult of the lamb specifically in regards to the tablets now if you're interested on how to farm gold how to farm food how to set up things like that uh check this video out right here hopefully i'll have that done in a couple days check it out i'm enjoying this game to the absolute utmost and i hope you are as well thank you so much for your time hopefully i can see you again consider subscribing and goodbye, my friends.